boys from the Fisher Division have come up with a unique contest to keep their spirits up. You doing the rally challenge? Yeah, so you're going to see if you can win it? I don't know if I trust you not to be in the team. It's not about who, can, who has the most, it's about who goes the longest. Uh, so who goes the longest, but do it all right. The rally challenge is not... not wanking. No, rally challenge is upstairs, is who's, who's had the most wanks. The rally challenge, which we're doing next door, is who can go the longest without having one. You do the, you're all doing the rally challenge? It's like going out and see who can drink the most pints so tonight. Like, obviously, we can't go out and get steamboats, so do something like this. You're in for the rally challenge, aren't you? It's absolutely killing me that my parents are probably going to see this. <laughs> no one lies, because you lie, it's going to affect the team around. Yeah. Which is going to be shit. Loyalty, boys, commitment. Loyalty. See you two drills. We do it to show commitment to each other. That we're not going to fucking lie in a room with all of you and start smacking one out. Me and Streeter are definitely going to be the last two, and then I will finish him off myself if I have to. I am going to win this challenge. <laughs> the Fisher boys have started dropping out of their abstinence challenge. Excuse me, guys. Is this any of your socks? Yes. So lucky you said yes, because if all of you had said no, it was going to be Dunbar's wank sock. <laughs> Recruit Dunbar is the latest to give up. So, so you're very lucky. <laughs> Definitely, he has dipped out. Boys will be boys. You know, we've all got very potent chemicals running through our bodies. Hard to control them at times. One of Fisher's teenage recruits, Harland, is away at sickbay with a stomach bug, and Dunbar takes the opportunity to play a practical joke. This is my pillow. I've come on it. Oh, no way. He swaps his used pillowcase for Harland's clean one. <laughs> it's 5.15 Sunday evening, and recruit Harland is back from sickbay. It doesn't take long for the others to tell Harland about Dunbar's prank. Has he actually done it? Yeah, yeah, joke. I told you. Right? So Swear on your mum's eye. Everyone, that's what he said. Swear on your mum's eye. That's what he said. Right, free to the vote. Dunbar, man, that's bang out of order. Vote, yeah, I'm sorry, mate. Why, Why the fuck would you do that? Eight, three hundred. Would <laughs> you swap it for another bowl? <laughs> no, I'm not having that. I love giving out banter. I love taking it, but that's not banter. What are you holding? Holding. What? Oh, no, no, mate, I'm not having that. Mate, mate, oi, come on. Recruit hall under 08, Fisher, Starbuck class, permission to speak. Oh, fuck. Speak, young man. Please, can I have uh, another pillowcase? I mean, have you got one? Yeah, um. Where's your other one? I I've been at sick bay and they've been messing about with my bed. All right, get the class seated down for me. Right. Stuart, Stuart, can you go to the office, please? They want you. Did you creep on him? I didn't creep on him. I, just, I went and said, uh, can I have a new pillowcase? He's going to wake up with a fucking turd on his face tomorrow morning. I didn't grass him up. Cos no-one likes doing that. I don't like... Gra because because I, lo I, I, I love having banter, I don't think it's necessary just to... There's often people say, oh, well, that's bullying, or that, that's... You're just being mardy. No one wants to have to grasp someone up. So what happened then? Um, I believe... Um, I believe Recruit Dunbar um, ejaculated on um, his pillowcase. Where did he do that? Where? Yeah. I, I don't know, Chief. I didn't see it. Where's the pillowcase now? Uh, upstairs. Do you want me to get it, Chief? Well, not especially, but... Has it not... So where's it been for the last four eight hours? Uh, on Recruit Howland's bed. Yeah, I'll have it then. Chief. All right. We should carry on. Carry on. Thank you, Chief. You definitely sure that happened, don't you? Uh, yes, Chief. Is, it... is this the pillowcase? Mate, I swapped the is, is this the dirty one? Yeah. This is a military establishment, and it should be should be very obvious what the constraints are and what the rules are and what you can and can't do here. 
Ta. Thank you. Permission to carry on, Chief. Yeah, carry on. I can't think of a context where you would get away with it. No. A bit grim, really. I think we all heard about it. <laughs> ain't quick, is it? You just don't do it. You ain't 13 and you ain't at a slumber party. I think Dunbar did take it to the extreme. <laughs> I think he did, but um, he just sort of was a laugh. He sort of was a joke and I got it. I, I, it was funny. <laughs> Dunbar is called in to see the duty officer. Recruit Dunbar, Fisher 08, starboard. Permission to speak to Chief. Yeah, come in, shut the door. I'm going to speak to you. Bye. Just get a bit bored up there. It was a Sunday, nothing to do. Thought I'd get a bit of a laugh out of it. I thought it would just be funny to see how he reacted. Just a big joke that backfired, really. What happened Friday night? I've got an email that tells me exactly what happened. Why'd you do that? I thought it was, it was a joke. Wasn't you it? thought it was a joke? When you get in a naval warship or submarine, whatever, your actual bed space is the only bit of that ship that's yours. The only little bit. And it's the only bit you can think, right, I'm going to go there, I'm going to read my book, whatever, read a letter from home or whatever it is you're going to do, and that's yours. You violated that seriously with that young man upstairs. Nice. How would you feel if somebody did that to you? Um... Yeah, I'd probably be pissed off. Pissed off? Mm -hmm. Pretty angry, wouldn't you? I'd be bloody angry if it happened to me. I must admit. I'll tell you what's going to happen today, young man. I'm going to withdraw you from training now. And I'll tell you why, because... Your actions are not what we expect of personnel in the Royal Navy. This is kid stuff, isn't it? Dunbar will be dealt with by the commander in charge of all basic training, Joe Aidy. Master. <laughs> Ma'am, recruit Dunbar stands before you today for failings in discipline. Recruit Dunbar, I'm going to give you an opportunity to explain your actions on Sunday and to try and give mitigation for them. OK. Well, um, a lot of banter was going on. Two of them came in with gas masks and just kind of like, I was uh, like, they kind of just hit me with flip flops on the bed and then like kind of just became a whole sort of class sort of thing. OK. I will take that away separately to deal with that situation. On the Sunday, um, a couple of hours before Holland came back, I swapped my pillowcase for his, and I thought it, it would be funny. I don't know how it got into my head that that was acceptable. I didn't think about Holland's feelings at all. I would just like to say sorry, and that I, I would just like to ask for a second chance. Recruit Dunbar, I think the last three minutes have probably shown the most maturity you have mustered in the last three weeks. You've admitted the error of your ways, you've been mature enough to be able to reflect on what you did and realise it was fundamentally wrong. However, look at me, what you considered might be amusing or funny for one particular moment shows a gross misjudgment. Yes, ma'am. Because your choice was to pick on one individual in the hope that you would gain favour with the rest of the class. And for that reason, um, I only have one option left to me. I am going to discharge you deemed unsuitable during training today with a minimum of 24 months to return. So take yourself away and decide mentally that you are prepared to abide by the 
values and standards that we require of all the sailors in the Royal Navy. Master at Arms. Aye aye ma'am, today recruit discharge from the Royal Navy is unsuitable during training for failures in discipline. Recruit salute. Right turn. Right will, quick march. It's not a good feeling like something you want to do and you want to prove to yourself that you can do and you don't achieve it. I think I just got to take what I can away from it and just go away and just prepare for next time I come here, make sure I'm in the right headspace and come back and smash it. After writing a letter of apology, they've decided to let him return to training in 12 months. 100% learned now who the line is. When I go back next time, just keep out of it. Because I think I do get carried away a bit. Like, I do like to have a laugh. Uh, but I think rally's not the place to do that. It's, it's really serious there. And it's not school. I'm not all changed. I'm still, I'm still viewing. Not, no change in names or nothing, but <laughs> I think I'm a bit more focused. I can get my head down a bit more now, whereas before I think it wasn't so easy, but I'm changed a bit for the better. <laughs>